Today, we will talk about Smash Brothers. When Smash Brothers Melee was announced, people were happy. But, there was one major problem with the current monster of Melee, or the clone characters. It was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 6 clone characters. There was Ganondorf, Young Link, Roy, P2, Falco, and Dr. Mario, which are all clone characters. And Luigi and Kigglypuff were the both semi clones. The original Smash 64 roster, this will be taken from the original Smash 64 roster I made. Okay, so all the clone characters are instantly cut. So, okay, so the current roster will be Mario, Luigi, Bowser, Pete, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Captain Falcon, Fox, Ness, all the characters that I put in the original 64 watches, so Moth and Riddle Mac, return. Jigglypuff is not on the watcher either, so Pikachu and Luigi is added because Luigi, Bowser, Pete are of course all added to the game. Like, and... No, and... For, uh, and Ice Climbers, I would probably add... It would be added too, along with Zelda and a non clone version of Gandorf. Moth will not be a newcomer since he was already in the game, and Little Mac would be in the roster. That means you have one, two, three, you two would be in the roster, five, six, seven characters left to put into the roster. If Wally didn't make it into the first game, he would be in the second game, so that's six more characters left. And also, some of the attended characters would be in the game. I will put Mr. Game and Watch in the game too, so at least it's down to five characters. And of course, Ice Clowns would be in the game, but I always said the Ice Clowns would be in the game. For, so five characters are left. I would put Day Kong as the next Donkey Kong character instead of King K. Wool, which would piss people off because King K. Wool is not on the roster. King K. which would mean there are four characters left on the roster. Because, they, because most of these characters just make sense and. Would it's obviously be in the game. Okay, so I'll give Melee an, a year long more of development, which means more characters can be added to the roster, and the next character will be Armour from Pikmin, which he will be the first. Since I gave the game one more hour, year of development, I could work Armour into the game. Armour could be worked into the game and be a part of Melee's roster. There was three more characters left. Since Sonic was actually attendant for the Melee roster, Sonic could be in the game as well since the game was given a year more of a development time. And Sonic could be the only third party character in the roster. Tails would have been X at at time because Armor would have been worked into the game. Then there are two more characters left. I would add Wolf instead of Falco because Wolf and of course, Wolf will be like and Ball, a semi clone of Fa Fox. He won't be a full clone, but he'll be a semi clone. But then, Pokemon. We need to add one new Pokemon. Outside of Mewtwo, there's only two Pokemon representation. And the Pokemon I have will either be of these three Pokemon Charizard, Scizor, or Blaziken to promote. Like how Sakurai promoted Greninja in the early parts of Pokemon X and Y, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Sapphire still were released and were in, the, in its early stages, so it would have been cool to have Blaziken in the watches, but the other Pokemon would be Scizor, Fualgator, Typhosion for Gen 2, if they have a Gen 2 Pokemon, and the, the next Pokemon would be Charizard. Let's be honest, because Salazar has become a, one of the faces of Pokemon, but we need to get to add two more characters. So a un, un okay, a Gen two rep for Pokemon and another Fire Emblem character, which would likely be Roy and a non cloned move set. So that's the entire roster right there. So Will Mac returns, Moth returns, Wario is in the roster, Sonic is in the roster, um, Ganondorf is in the roster. Towers out in the roster, and several other characters like Mr. Game and Watch, Mewtwo. Um, there's no Jigglypuff in the roster, so people are gonna be complaining that there's no Jigglypuff. There'll only be Freeze Zelda characters, 
I don't I don't know why see why Young Link would be a character in the roster. Uh Dr. Mario wouldn't be in the roster. Wario would be in here instead of Dr. Mario. Wolf would be in the roster. There would be towers out and a eight seventh gen Pokemon here. Game and Watcher say Roy would actually probably be a part of the roster. Sonic would be here and Will Mac would probably be around here. So that means that would be the roster. Roy will some of the clone characters will have been semi clones. Wolf would be in the roster because Smash maybe would have had more villain characters, Gandalf, Bowser, and Falco. And Gandalf would not have that clone moveset that nobody likes. Mewtwo would be recounted as a villain too. And Okay, so now we'll see what the second gen Pokemon is. It will be up to my choice. It'll be either between Typhlosion, Tyranitar, or Sizzle. Problem of adding Sizzle into the roster is Sizzle only can use cut moves. So it's either Typhlosion, Fualgator, or Tyranitar. I put Ty Typho, Fualgator. Fualgator would be the most obvious choice. Along with Tyranitar, both would be either considered will have been because a Gen 2 Pokemon would have been considered before the development when the development of Melee was going around. So it would be either, it would probably be the most popular of the Gen 2 Pokemon that was not Pizu, which was probably added at last minute to add more clones to the roster. But since you had more year of development, I think a Gen 2 Pokemon would have been developed that was not. PTU and it was not garbage. PT really gives Gen 2 a bad name for itself. And if I made the melee roster, that would basically be the entire roster. And balls is gonna be much harder to figure out.